Well, thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, the Bible says. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So I believe everybody is looking forward for Easter. Well, the Bible, the Bible talks about the Passover. It's a Passover day when the, when the spirit of death rule upon the children of God. Now, when it comes to these days, we call this Easter eggs and all Easter bunnies. We, we made it as something that is uh, out of uh, the will of God. But really, Easter means to deliver us, to save us from the bondage, from the, the wickedness of this life, from the problem that we are facing in life. But instead we go and buy chocolates and fill ourselves, our body, with chocolate, which is good, which is good. But our message out here is that Jesus Christ saves. And Jesus Christ, He came and delivered us from the life that we are living that is not pleasing to Him but only pleasing to ourselves as human beings. Well, we all sinners, as the Bible, saw, uh, the Bible says, that we all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. So brothers and sisters, we have a message, a message of hope and a message of salvation to all mankind. Because the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whomsoever believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So that is the message that we bring out here to you, brothers and sisters, out here in Paramala. There is a hope in Christ Jesus. And also there is eternity in Christ Jesus. So our message is so simple. You know, the Bible talks about he who has the Son has life. He who doesn't have the Son does not have life. So if you are, we are asking you, do you have Jesus Christ into your heart? Or do you have your church into your heart? See, the, the problem here, brothers and sisters, is my church, even your church, will not save you. Will not even take you to that life, to that place where God has prepared for us. Where Jesus Christ has prepared for us. As he mentioned in the book of John chapter 14. So if you don't have Jesus Christ into your heart, accept him and believe in him. Make him your personal savior. That's what the Bible says, you don't have life. But if you have Jesus Christ into your heart, make him your God, make him your savior. Make him your personal savior in your heart. That's what Jesus was saying, you have life. That life means eternity, only through Jesus Christ. That life can only be found through Jesus Christ. That life cannot be found in churches, in denominations. No. That life only can be found through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. No one. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. So, we encourage you, brothers and sisters, if you want to go to heaven to be with the Father, you got to come. you got to go through Jesus Christ. It's not, you, gotta, you can't go through your church or denomination or your own work that you think that will take you to heaven. Not even through your sin, not even through your money, not even through your beautiful house, which is good, which is good. But the, the, the main problem here is, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Is Jesus Christ is the center of your, of your life? If not, brothers and sisters, we are here. We love to pray for you. We would like, we love to lead you through the prayer that will accept that will Jesus Christ and that you'll become the children of the living God. So brothers, our, our message is so simple. Come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. You know what? Jesus came to give us a relationship. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, 
This is, must be your time. This is, must be your day. It is your moment to come in and make a, have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came onto this earth to, to make a family, to bring us back to him. Jesus Christ didn't come and make a, a build a denomination or a church. He came to, to bring a family together, which is all of us, mankind. It doesn't matter the color that you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. We are all made in the image of our Heavenly Father. So Jesus Christ wants to restore, restore us back to Him. We are all a big family, but we all scattered in our own ways. But Jesus Christ wants to restore us back together in one mind, in one thought. Fill our heart with love, to love Him, with love other people. That's what the greatest commandment that God, that Jesus command us. To love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our might. And the second is to love our neighbors, to share them the gospel, to help them to know Christ, to bring them into the kingdom of God. So brothers, that's our message is God loves you so much. As John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whomsoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And again, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father. No one. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Even your prayers has to go through Jesus Christ. Your, your needs has to go through Jesus Christ before it comes to the Father. So brothers and sisters, come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. As Jesus said, if you have, if you have the Son, you have life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have life. If you have denomination, you're going to die with your denomination. So brothers and sisters, come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. We pray as you're going past by that God will help you to come to know Him and bless you. We give you praise, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.